Hey guys, welcome back. So about to dive into another episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This is episode 17, and it is called Cold Flame. So, that must be something about Mustang, I would assume. So in the previous episode of this one, we had Ed and Al and Winry learn about Hughes' death, and I think that episode handled that revelation beautifully. In my reaction, I made some comparisons to how it was handled in the previous season from 2003, and yeah, I think what they did with this one was really quite beautiful. It was really well done. So moving into episode 17, like I said, Cold Flames, so it must be something about Mustang. They call him the Flame Alchemist, so I'm assuming it's about him. And um, well, yeah, he just found out one of his lieutenants was framed for the murder of Hughes. So that could be his personality at this point. Like he's going to be very cold and brutal and just lay down the smackdown. Envy came up with a plan to derail his investigation for a little bit. And Lust is also dating one of the one of the troops and getting information out of him. So it's all all building nicely. I love I'm loving the storytelling and the mystery building. It's really cool. All right, so you ready? As you know, this is a timer based reaction. You can catch the full thing on my Patreon. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Brotherhood. The sun is shining through. So one of the mysteries about Lang right now is why does he keep passing out in the streets? We've seen him twice now. will have to be picked up. Because he's unconscious. Hologram by Nico touches the walls. I, I think I still enjoy the first song better at this point from the first part of Brotherhood. This is cool. I mean, it's, it's okay. But that first song was really good. I, I loved it. All right, let's go. Cold Flame. She didn't do it, man. She's framed. There's a bullet. Yeah, that exact one. He got it. Barry got it. Mm, it's there. Uh, it's been swapped out. Convenient. Excuse me, you're accusing me of murder. I'm going to get a little riled up. Wow. She's fucked. Armstrong to the rescue. Thank you. 
He was there. <clears throat> yes. Cold flame. We're not getting any more recaps at the beginning. Why is that? Oh, wax. Just polishing his head. Hey, don't be rude. Yeah, he's in a funk. Yeah, it's tough. What's with your face? It's a conundrum. See? Deeply emotional moment, and then you cut it with the comedy. Brilliant. We can't be sad all the time. Barry the Butcher. He's got some intel. She shot him, right? <laughs> oh, no. Convicted. Wow. Fifteen. Who's the intruder? Oh, Barry's here. Oh, yeah. Shot his skull face off. 
<laughs> Ghost. Was Shing ever like covered in the original series from 2003? I have no memory of it. They're going to bust her out. Oh dear, he's kind of scary. Yeah, leave. <laughs> She's in a <the> spotlight. <laughs> I love those little flourishes. Metal boy. Yeah, she has. Cold flame, here he comes. Is he gonna go, he's gonna track her down himself? Run for your life. Uh, it's Mustang. Oh shit. Flame on. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Really? No. <gasps> no. Shit. I don't think she was gonna get killed. Did she get killed? Mustang just flumbed her ass. My god. Punch. Mm. 
No, I don't. Yeah. Charred corpse on the ground there. Damn. Wow. Damn. She's out. He cooked her. She didn't resist. No. What is going on? He is cold. Mm. The guy with the newspaper. Shit. Yeah, he's a dick. This has to be a trick. It's a cover up. Has to be. Must Mustang's hiding her somewhere. She didn't. Damn. I don't know what to believe. Hmm. Scary monsters. Yeah, he's gone off, off book. Wow, he did go too far, slam. There's something going on man, there's something happening here. He busted her out of his own accord.
<laughs> Where'd they come from? <laughs> oh, Mustang. What? I'm not believing anything I'm seeing right now. Shit. Being punched in the face by Armstrong would hurt. What is he doing? What is happening? <laughs> Mustang. She's alive. He's up to something. Barry the Butcher. Good sketch. <laughs> nope. Oh, God. Wait, what? Who was in the cage? She called him Barry the Chopper. Isn't he Barry the Butcher? Is What? Oh, wait, okay. So, he's... Souls attached to the body, but have they? His soul, his souls attached to his armor. So his body is in that cage, and he's creepy as hell. Is that right? Don't tell me. I'll figure it out. <laughs> wow, Mustang, cold flame. All right, jeez. Still think he's up to something. I haven't seen much of May since we met her. I bet she'll be back in the next episode. Potentially. Let it out. Yeah. Mr. Elric. Cool song. Like it. Make sure the tape's still going up there. Okay, so, um, well, that episode was called Cold Flame, and I can definitely see why, because Mustang was a complete asshole. But 
I still think it is some kind of a pretense. I think he didn't kill Ross. He killed some other random stranger as they walked past. But there's some kind of cover up. He, he hasn't killed her. I know he's um a dick, but he's not a villain. He's not a bad guy. So I think he's doing something conniving and getting Armstrong to take Ed to the train. They're going to meet up and I think Ross will be there. That's what I think. I, I, he's doing something. He's playing some kind of game. That's what I really believe. And I'm loving the story. This is so cool seeing new episodes, man. It's really engaging. And not knowing where it's going to go is just so much fun. Anyway, I know where I'm going to go. I'm going to go take a break. And I'm going to have some lunch. So I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.